as a community we ought to be very proud of the fact that there has been no further expansion of the coronavirus in this Darling Downs area in the last 24 hours. And from my understanding that's four days that we haven't had anything happen. So let's be proud of that, but let's continue the fight. I have received a request from the blood bank to certainly make sure that people realise that they would dearly love some more blood supplies moving into Easter. If anyone out there is able to give blood, and I'm probably one of those people, I'm very happy to go, uh, I'll be very happy to do that and I hope that uh, in these circumstances more people come forward to give blood at this point in time. I wanted to give our online library a plug um, while I'm here and I can. Um, so we do have access to almost all of our collection through our online library service. And so I'd encourage people to check that out. Um, we do have an app, the My TR Library app, and uh, you can uh, download that to your device and um, have access to the catalogue, which is fabulous for, for um, for the isolation period that faces us. Um, you can also do it through our website as well, so that's a good one. Um, I know that people are going to want to get out and be active over the long weekend. Um, we're all suffering from a little bit of cabin fever. Our parks are open, but I think we need to be mindful of the message that Easter's not a time for us this year to be out socialising in, in big numbers. We need to observe the social distancing requirements, no more than two people, unless you're a family group and you know all the rest, we've heard it. It's available um, from state and federal government websites as well. Um, we've had to close playgrounds and barbecues and picnic facilities and all those sorts of things, unfortunately. Um, but I think that's a small price that we have to pay for a short period of time for the, for the better long-term outcome of our community. Um, Carnival of Flowers is too early to call at the moment. You know, we're obviously really hopeful that it can go ahead. So we are planning as though it's going ahead, but also with some contingencies in the background and it might look different it might have to be it might have to be different than what we're used to but it really is too early to call with that in mind you know we um, are doing what we can to make sure we have a successful carnival of flowers and we'll be in a position probably around 1 July to make a call on that I would be very saddened if we didn't have the carnival of flowers but if it's about the health of this community I'm on side and we're trying to put the message out there that God is with us in the midst of this crisis, that Easter is still something to celebrate. Um, and, and systems have been put in place so that as people feel isolated, they're, they're cared for um, through phone trees and, and through practical ways. Uh, those who have access to internet and those who don't have access to internet right across the Southwest. So it's a really challenging time, but I have to say, I think we have um, technology that was not available to us years ago so we're really fortunate to have those tools to to be out there to help sustain people in the midst of isolation and in the midst of this time of Christian community so I do encourage you if you if you'd like to check in with your local church you know, find them online on Facebook on their websites and and find out how you can engage with them each day and particularly this weekend as we look forward to celebrating the joys of Easter <laughs>